The work we do in seabed imaging and ocean earth science has really quite a, a ridiculously wide-ranging impact. We work uh, on topics ranging from mineral resources, so sands and gravels on the seabed. We work through to looking at object detection, so the potential for unexploded ordnance. The work we do with archaeology has been recognised to the extent that English Heritage specifically commissioned us to actually write their guidance notes for how you'd use geophysics for investigating marine archaeological sites. We look at the interaction of infrastructure, so uh, wind farm monopiles, tidal turbines, uh, oil and gas rigs, and how they locally influence how the seabed evolves and in turn how that works back to how the actual structure works. In our case, geophysical imaging is associated with sonar systems, but we've also developed our own system, the 3D CHIRP project, which is the first to really successfully produce a 3D volume of the very near surface in very high resolution. So our development allows us to collect a cube of sound, which we can cut into little small blocks, 12 and a half centimetres in size, and it allows us to image very, very small objects, down to about 30 centimetres or so. And so this has kind of revolutionised the way that we can image the subsurface for both geological and archaeological purposes. Yeah.